In 2007, the Taliban's leader banned all cell phone communication at night. Now the government of Afghanistan, with the help of Marines in Helmand province, are fighting back. So the project I'm working on is to uh, bring uh, cellular communications to the northern districts of Sangin, Masakala, and Nauzad. To make this possible, Afghan Wireless Communication Company is installing cell phone towers on forward operating bases throughout Helmand province, which will mean better security of the towers and will hopefully encourage growth and legitimize the government of Afghanistan. And with that, we hope to uh, spur economic development, uh, extend the reach of Jaroa, and help uh, the governance, Jaroa being the local Afghan government, uh, help them extend their governance to the people. For the district governor of Nauzad and his population of nearly 100,000, this project will lead to better security and the eventual rebuilding of his district. The governance of the Afghan government is getting better and better, and wherever there is security, development can happen. The cell phone towers will also provide an extra level of security at night, when the Taliban generally tries to intimidate the local population. If, if they feel threatened, uh, they can reach out to either ISAF or to the local ANP or ANA uh, and say, you know, here we have some activity and we need to be able to, uh, you need to come and help protect us in this area. The cell phone towers provide service in a three kilometer radius, but the government hopes to increase that range in the upcoming months. Marine Corporal Bradley Hansen, Helmand Province, Afghanistan.